remember crying like a baby. I laid there and literally cried. I felt that he had, uh, it felt like, picture if you will, a razor blade. Take the corner of it. It felt like he was just scraping and digging and scraping and scraping my skin away. And I've had people say, well, you know, it's a pleasurable pain or it numbs. It never numbed. Um, and I, I just cried, cried like a baby, and he said, do you want me to stop? I was like, well, I'm not going to have, have uh, you know, instead of a mermaid, a mer. And I, <laughs> so I just said, just, just finish it. It hurt, but it wasn't the most excruciating pain I've ever experienced. I'd heard a lot of horror stories, even from my father, about um, how bad a tattoo can be. But it really wasn't all that. It was just like getting multiple shots. Towards the bones, it was numbing, it hurt. Definitely pinched a little bit. It's, a, it's not a bad, it's not a painful thing. It's just like getting your ear pierced only a thousand times. It, it wasn't like he was pricking me. It was like he was like taking the needle and dragging it, like ripping my skin. And I said to her, I thought you said it wasn't going to hurt. And she goes, well, if I'd have told you it hurt, you wouldn't have done it. And I said, well, it really hurts. But then it must have just been like part of it. And then when he got done this one part, he said to me, well, the pee's done. I said, the pee? That's all you did? And he said, yeah, that's all. And he said, you want to just put initials? I said, oh, no. I said, I'm in here now. I said, I'm doing the whole thing. It really wasn't that bad as I think I had anticipated that it would be. Uh, it took probably three hours. It's not a very big one. And it wasn't, and I was thinking the whole time, this isn't really that bad. Days later, it felt like a sunburn, a really bad sunburn. Then I thought, God, this is never going to go away. But it did. It was like a slight stain. And, you know, with a few beer under, under my belt, I was not really paying too much attention to it. Um, and he didn't even have, you know, the guy at the parlor didn't have, like, a Band-Aid or anything. So I you know, put another wad of clean toilet paper, and he had scotch tape. And uh, I had my blue uniform with me, and it was, you know, fitting uniform. So I suffered through the thing like three days.